A major research project on the nation's children has turned its focus to their health. The Growing Up in Australia study is one of the biggest of its kind in the world, with the young participants now 11 and 12 years old. These children are helping scientists understand what makes them tick physically and emotionally. Just going through thousands and thousands of questions. They've been One part more. of the landmark all study all since right birth. Bottom. Now, big deep breath in for me, Jamison. Blast it out, big push all the way out. Get all that out right down. 300 families joined the roadshow in Brisbane. So one of the main things that we're really interested in is how the first decade of their life might affect their cardiovascular Excellent. health and their lung function at this point. They have 14 stations to get through. So a little bit quicker with the legs. Let's get those muscles pumping. Researchers yeah, analyse the whole body from head to toe. When I'm collecting a hair sample, we can extract hair cortisol levels from here. There are blood and hearing tests and x-rays for bone density levels and for the first time the parents have been asked to undergo health checks. It's interesting, I just hope I come up trumps. <laughs> the Growing Up in Australia study is looking at 10,000 Australian children from birth to adulthood. It's been the focus of the ABC's Life documentary series. The findings from this part of the study will be highlighted in future shows. You just get this amazing sense of where kids are at and the difference in health and sort of how far this is going to benefit down the road is astounding. Here in a pop-up lab, the samples are immediately processed, put in dry ice and sent to Melbourne, where they'll be stored in a biobank for analysis until the children turn 18. Their next big assessment will be when they turn 13, the onset of puberty. So how worried are you about that stage? Um, <laughs> we could already be there. <laughs> Lexi Hamilton-Smith. ABC News.